Hey everybody, Core here from Kessel Run Transmissions. It is currently, let's see, 2.08 in the morning, and Disney Plus has just dropped Star Wars The Clone Wars Season 7, Episode 2, A Distant Echo. I'm a lot more tired than last week for some reason, but literally the moment that this episode went up, I, my energy just came back. Uh, so I can't wait to see this episode. Uh, like I said last week, I was lucky enough to attend the Celebration Anaheim panel for The Bad Batch, so I saw all the animatics for these episodes already all the way back in 2015. But I know for a fact that, as we saw with last week's episode, they're adding scenes and taking away scenes and adding dialogue and taking away certain dialogue. So these episodes are definitely changing and the story is, I think, a lot tighter than it was before. And I really thought the story was great, but I'm really excited for this because I believe this is where we see Echo for the first time. And that's gonna be so gut-wrenching to see him again after what happened with him in the Citadel. So without further ado, guys, let's start Season 7, Episode 2, A Distant Echo. I'm so pumped for this. Let's do it. Every time, man. Every time. It's still surreal. Let's see the fortune cookie is for this week. The search for truth begins with belief. Dude, on point. On point. Oh, is this the shot we saw in the trailer? Is this it? Oh, I think it is. Oh my god, it is. This is so weird to see that. The general staff isn't completely behind this mission. I admit the idea that Echo is still alive is a long shot. I'm sure the council will approve the mission. Just remember the primary goal is to learn how the separatists are predicting our strategy. Mm -hmm. Whether it's Echo behind it or not. Well, if you want my opinion, it sounds like a trap. But me and the boys will tag along anyway. Only to say I told you so. Bro, Just bro, make you sure you're ready proven. when we get the go-ahead from you see Echo. If you're certain he'll approve the mission, why wait? Let's get going. First, we have that Rex's thing pumped. to do. Hey, what thing? You know? Well, we don't have time for that, sir. Yes, we do. What? Well, I'll just let you do so this happens. Yeah, this was not in the original cut. What are you talking about? about? The rest of the team. Come on, Rex, I'm late as it is. What's he talking about? Wait. Wait, does Rex know that Anakin and Padme are a thing? Hold up. Hold up. Is that what's going on here? No. You're late again. What? Padme, I'm so sorry. We didn't anticipate the Outer Rim sieges would last this long. That would be why they call it... He said that in Revenge of the Sith. I know. I just thought that I... You Dude. thought you could bring a swift end to the conflict single-handedly. This is yeah. the Outer Rim Sieges. Anakin, Rex knows. What you're doing what? is important. The Republic needs you on the front lines. Oh. Just as they need my voice in the Senate. Holy crap. I know. Dude, look at Anakin's animation. Rex no What? Rex is covering for him? Holy crap. What a great addition to the canon. Oh my god, I never would have thought Rex knew an Obi-Wan's Oh! Dude, this is fantastic. Obi-Wan is coming. No, that's not it. There's something else. Oh my else. god, what? It's Rex. I'm worried he's letting his personal feelings drive him too much on this mission. Hmm. I wonder where he learned that. Hmm. Rex, where's Anakin? I need to speak to him about this Obi -Wan. mission. Well, General, he's... Uh, well, he's inside your barracks, isn't he? Oh my god. Yes, sir. What's going on here? This is one of the uh, best scenes in all of Clone Wars. Just waiting for the general. The general. This is so good. You'll have to do better than that, Captain. You've known Rex a long time. When you throw caution to the wind and take chances, where is he? Right beside me. That's right. Then maybe that's where you should be for him, Annie. Trust his I love the scene. Like Dave Filoni, you genius. Trying to look out for him. I know you are. Oh my god. I love you, Annie. I love you too. 
And what is Anakin doing in there? Ah, uh, he's spot checking my gear, sir. Is this really? a scene? Without you? Well, here you go, Rex. Oh, and try not to break I, it again. About this mission. This is the amazing. Thinks that it's a good idea. I agree. Let's get moving, Rex. No Dude, way. I, That's not. No time. I hope you at least told Padme I said hello. Oh. was one of the best scenes in all of Clone Wars. Holy crap. Did not expect any of that. They're, this is like a week before Avenger the Sith. He just mentioned that or we're in the sieges. Wat Tambor, look at it. It's been a minute since we've seen these guys. Since like season two? Trench. But I have disturbing Wow, Wat Tambor looks so good, holy crap. Well, I'm not scared of nothing. I just, when I'm up real high, I got a problem with gravity. Speaking of problems, I am no great. longer picking up Echo's signal. I, I don't understand. You said it was coming from this city. Right. I can only speculate, but it is possible there's a latency issue with the frequency caused by all these... Is this what Rex snaps? Or... Maybe they sent the signal to lure us into a trap. Mm. And maybe your friend's actually dead. Oh. Well, I can't be the only one thinking of that. Oh. Look, every mission could be a trap. This one is exactly. no different. I'm telling you, that signal is being sent by Echo himself. He's alive. I think you're letting your personal feelings get in the way. I think way you shut up. Because you left him for dead at the Citadel. Ooh. I had no choice. You hear me? Oh, I don't blame you. I would have left him for dead, too. Oh. Besides, he's just another rig. Oh crap! Why don't you be on Damn! Not your side. How about you shut up, Wrecker? You'll be a whole lot smaller when I'm through with you. Oh shit! That's enough! Sergeant, take your men and scout the area for a tower entry. Damn! Wanna to talk to my captain? I don't know, I feel like Rex is pretty justified there talking shit about Echo like that. No, sir. Wow. I, I hate to say it, but you have to prepare yourself for the possibility that Echo is dead. And this is all a separatist trick. Sir, I, I love this episode. So many of my brothers fall during this war, and I try not to hang on to any one of them. But that changed when I heard that separatist transmission. Yeah. It was no algorithm. That was Echo's voice. I know it. It's got I hope emotional, you're wrong, man. But if for some reason you're wrong, then I'll deal with it. Hell yeah, dude. I love Rex's commitment to his men. The Bad Batch, I, they're pissing me off now. Arrogant. I can't wait to see the look in their faces when they realize Echo's alive. Yeah, I can't get over how great Anakin's character model is for this season. It's so good. Whip. I don't like these droids that much. Nice. You imagine Anakin gets taken out by one of those droids. Jeez. Yeah, there we go. That's an Anakin action. That's right. Okay, so Wat Tambor just confirmed that goes basically alive. And the Bad Batch needs to like apologize to Rex. Oh my god, that is horrifying. That's actually horrifying. That's Echo. Echo. Tech. We gotta get him out of here. Figure out how to unplug him from him. Oh my mess. god. messed up. What have they done to you? We, we have to get to the show. No. To escape the Citadel. Oh, this no. is heartbreaking. I'll go first. Echo. No. Echo. It's Rex. No. I'm here. No. No. Hey, Rex. You, you came back for me. Yes. 
Yes, I did. What? What happened? Where am I? It's okay, Echo. You're safe now. Just sit tight, Trooper. You're going home. Whoa. Um, that was a really powerful scene. Holy crap. Wow, that, that, I didn't, I mean, I've seen the animatics for that, but the new music they used and actually seeing Echo, whoa, that was, that was a heavy scene. Holy crap. When, when he's going, where am I at? Like, holy shit. Dude, I felt that. I, I thought he was going to ask where Fives was for a second, and that just hit me real hard just thinking about him maybe asking that question next week. Oh my god, that was... That was emotional. Okay, this is easily one of the best episodes of The Clone Wars, hands down. I They hit all the notes that I was looking for in a Clone Wars episode. And I remember last week's episode, I had said that I thought that maybe Rex and Anakin were going to start uh, distancing themselves from each other just to provide maybe more context for Avengers. But no, they're as close as ever. Like, And I love that. I really do. I think it's really interesting that rex knows about anakin and padme and he even covers for them like when did that happen you know um obi-wan's definitely on to anakin he knows i think obi-wan's always known he's just trying to keep it on the down low and, and convince himself that it's not happening uh but that you know like that scene was so pivotal i think to gearing this towards revenge of the sith and we're, we're so close now one thing that Padme talks about is, you know, she, I believe she mentioned how she heard rumors that Anakin had been killed and that the Outer Rim sieges were taking too long, and Anakin straight up mentions that here. So we're right, in the, we're right in the tab. We're getting to Revenge of the Sith. Like, this is definitely at least a week beforehand, and this is going to fit perfectly with the entire uh, rest of the season. I, Dave has done such a fantastic job bridging everything together. And this definitely goes down as one of my favorite episodes of the show. Seeing Echo again, that was really sad. Oh, my God. But I'm glad they got him. Um, I hope he asks about fives because they were tight. They were like, you know, I guess, I mean, brothers, obviously, but best friends. And uh, I love the guilt that Rex feels throughout the episode of leaving Echo behind. Like, you can tell that Rex has some guilt for that. And I would imagine so after losing fives and... In a hard case and all these clones before like it's just this guy keeps on getting hit and the bad batch better shut up now and they better realize that rex was right and i don't ever want to hear a lip from those guys again because that quite frankly pissed me off and i would slap each one of them right now i like that this episode was geared towards Anna anakin and rex and i'm really excited to see echo in the next two episodes i hate that it's weekly like I, I i love it and i hate it because i love dissecting each episode weekly but i want to see the whole thing right now like i want to see more of echo i want to see more of rex ah so bad but we have to wait another week um i love the episode my god man the, the, the track the soundtrack throughout the episode was fantastic the acting was on point yeah this this was a great episode I, 10 out of 10 stars for sure um we're gonna keep on putting Clone Wars content here on the channel, guys. That's the main focus of our channel. It always has been is Clone Wars content. And uh, we're also gonna do a full review of this episode as well as some more custom action figure showcases. Uh, this next one's gonna be delayed by a couple of days. Um, it should be out by Monday, but we got another cool custom figure to show you guys. And uh, yeah, just a lot of Clone Wars content planned. I'm not sure if Noah did a reaction or not, but if he did, I will get that up as well. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. I love watching the show and love reacting to it. So I can't wait for next week's episode. I think it's called On the Wings of Caradax or something like that. Uh, I guess we'll see Trench in that one. Um, God, I got this. Anyways, let me know in the comment section below what you thought of this episode. I, like I said, 10 out of 10 for me. Clone Wars Season 7 started strong and continues to be strong. And I can't wait for the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, may the force be with you.